everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jessica Pimentel and this is my new series look natural so I thought about creating this series as a quick guide and easy access space for all the people out there that are looking for natural makeup skincare makeup just light makeup looks because I've received a lot of positive feedback from my videos so I thought I would start a series where I talk about the best foundations concealers tips tricks all of that jazz and just have it in one space so it's very easy for you guys this is something I'm super 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 excited about and I'm super excited to share all my information how I do certain things and just so that everyone can have that desired look that they're looking for so yeah I'm so excited to get started with this series if you are as excited about this series as I am please do like comment and subscribe I really want this information to reach as many people as possible and really and truly natural finishes aren't that easy to achieve Achieve. a lot of products are deceiving and actually don't work so I really want to try my best to help you guys out in that area as you can see from today's title I'll be sharing with you guys my favorite skin like foundations I think I've pretty much found my perfect matches shade matches and also finishes that look like skin so I'm pretty excited so before I actually get into the products, I receive a lot of questions on how I shade match my foundation perfectly to my skin tone. I'm actually wearing foundation now and as you can see, it's pretty much my skin tone. And I thought I'd share this amazing, amazing tip that actually one of my followers suggested to me. And it is a website called Foundation. I'll insert a um, link down below and also what it looks like on screen so you guys can go and check it out but it is honestly one of the best things I've found for finding my foundation shades once you find that one foundation that is perfect you can just use that to reference any future foundations you want to buy you insert that name and it gives you all the shades of other foundations that are pretty much the same shade as the one you really love which is amazing because I found that one foundation that really matched me which was the Revolution stick foundation in F10 and I just used that at the beginning to reference any future foundations I bought and it's been amazing so second tip it is very important to know your undertone my undertone is olive slash warm undertone and I realized this was such a major factor when I was buying the ordinary foundations I didn't realize how many different um, undertones there were I was always buying the wrong ones I was always buying blue cool tone ones and it would just look really great on my skin but once I started buying the right ones then the foundations fit perfectly because you can buy the same shades but different undertones and it will look completely different on your skin so please do find the right undertone on your skin you can use your veins as references there's a whole like chart you can check on the color of your veins to know your undertones or just trial and error you know trying out different bases to really find your tone but yeah that's just the second very very important tip so yeah, getting into the foundations my first foundation that I really love is the ordinary serum foundation it's a very very popular choice amongst the skin like community <laughs> I am between two shades I like to mix two um, the shades are 3Y and 2.1Y they are both yellow undertones one's medium dark one's medium but this one's too dark which is why I mix this one with it just so it's like a nice shade one of the main reasons why I love this foundation is honestly just how affordable it is it's around five pounds which is an amazing price for a foundation especially how good it is it's very lightweight and it has a very natural finish and a little goes a long way to be honest with this foundation you might look at it and think oh it's very small and although it's five pound it's actually more expensive if you think about it but really and truly a little goes a long way because we're not really caking on so we don't need that much anyway I like to wear this foundation just when I'm not really wearing any other makeup no face contours any of that I just like to put this on maybe with some cream sometimes you know just do my eyebrows and just pop this on and that's my day ready to go <laughs> some other key facts about this foundation is that it is SPF 15 which is very important especially when we're not really wearing makeup we should be wearing sunscreen anyway even when we're not wearing makeup but people tend to forget when we do wear makeup we do need that protection still even if it feels like we've got a layer on top so that is 
amazing it's also oil free so it is oily skin slash combination skin friendly which i am during the summer so it's very amazing if you're looking for a lightweight foundation and you do have oily skin this one is one of my favorites and i am a combination skin girl my second favorite foundation is the ex1 invisawear foundation this is actually a recent one in my collections but i've used it most days for the past few weeks that i've gone out and it's just been my go-to i just love it i'm in the shade 10 of this foundation it does look quite dark i think but once you put it on it just matches my skin tone very perfectly as you can tell by the name invisaware it is a very lightweight foundation that is quite buildable but it still gives that luminous finish that looks like skin health and yeah just amazingness <laughs> a very interesting fact about ex1 and how they came about is actually that they are targeted for olive skin tones and all those warm skin tones because we used to struggle with finding foundations because undertones weren't really a thing so they created this brand so it'd be much much easier for us so yeah they have quite a few ranges and they all do look similar but their colour matching guide is very helpful and it did help me find my foundation shade as well. So do check that out if you're looking to buy this. But yeah, this is a very, very amazing foundation and it's very affordable. I think it's around £13, so kind of the drugstore price range. So I definitely recommend. You won't lose out. <laughs> trust me you will love this you will love this foundation and also how can i forget it's oil free fragrance free paraben free so not only is it looking like skin it's actually benefiting your skin because it's not applying any of those harsh chemicals on your skin and it's oil free it's oil free another foundation for my combination girls out there so yeah i definitely recommend this one if you're not looking to buy the ordinary one this one's available in boots look fantastic all of those stores around that asos <laughs> or just anywhere the third foundation skin tint bb cream because we're doing a whole range is one that i actually ran out of but it was one of my i used it if you follow me on instagram i used it in every tutorial in every look it was just my go-to until i ran out it is the lumine skin tint and this skin tint i've tried a few bb creams a few cc creams but this skin tint was different so at first you look at it and you think why is there four shades like how are we ever gonna find our shade match when there's four shades but the secret is they are universal shades and that is a very very interesting thing in a skin tint because the whole point of a skin tint bb cream is so that it doesn't look like you're wearing anything and the fact that the shades are universal it means that it really adopts your natural skin tone and it makes it look like skin <laughs> the brand in general is a skincare brand and they came out with a skin tint which is a hybrid of skincare and makeup which i love i love when the two worlds collide now because it is a skincare slash makeup hybrid it just has all the skincare benefits it's very hydrating and it just leaves a natural lovely fresh finish on your face at first it was very weird it was kind of like a gel texture so it was very different but i just i just fell in love <laughs> i just it was very instant <laughs> out of all the foundations i'm going to show today this one is i think the most expensive it's around 30 pound which is still a decent price seeing as it is very long lasting it lasted me a, a few months so it is very much worth the price i don't know whether it contains oils but i do have to say that it did slide a bit on my face but I didn't mind that because I was going for the whole natural look anyway. So if that's something that you're very cautious about, I would not recommend. But other than that, it's a very much perfect foundation. I also don't know how accessible it is for other countries. I know Look Fantastic and Feel Unique sell it as well as the website, the brand's own website. But other than that, I'm not sure where else it is stocked. But do have a look and do check it out because it is definitely worth the hype. The next foundation I have is the Vichy Mineral Blend Foundation. This is actually more of a skin tint slash BB cream, but it has a similar finish to the EX1 foundation. Very natural, very buildable. So if you're looking for something that you can work with in different ways, like a natural slash full coverage finish, 
this is a, also a great foundation. I'm in the shade number 9 and I do have to say that I did actually struggle with the shades on this foundation. There weren't that many and also they looked so different and the undertone chart didn't help me either. So it was kind of a hit or miss with this foundation but I actually landed on the right shade so I'm very happy about that. So yeah, number nine for reference if you're like a similar skin tone to me. I really like the applicator as well. It's kind of like a pipette kind of tube look. <laughs> but it's very easy to apply on the face and it's not messy at all, which I love. The last product I'm going to mention is the NARS Tinted Moisturiser. This is a very, very popular product that a lot of people use. I just have positive things to say about it. I know a few people do find NARS foundations and tints and all of that jazz to be quite greasy but on me personally it's fine and I don't really mind if it is a little bit sliding around my face <laughs> but I know a few people don't really like that but if that's not something you mind then 100% go for the NARS tinted moisturizer. It is again on the pricier side but not too expensive it's quite reasonable because you only need a little bit as I mentioned it is around £30 again but it's very accessible compared to the Luminate. It's available on ASOS, NARS, Feel Unique, Look Fantastic. Just anywhere really that you can access makeup. I think they do stock that. And it's got a pretty good range of shades. So it's very easy to find your shade, you know. If you know your existing shade in NARS, then it's very easy. If not, use foundation. The website I mentioned. <laughs> not foundation, find. Asian. So this concludes episode one of Look Natural. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are looking forward to all my future videos. I'm very excited. I want to film loads and loads and loads and loads of more videos and I'm just so excited to share all this information with you guys. I really want everyone to just embrace their beauty, enhance it, feel amazing and beautiful and I'm just here to help and just boost everyone's confidence because that's what it's all about. That's what makeup's about. It's not about hiding who you are. It's about about loving who you are and making it better for yourself so you feel just that you know that extra level of beautiful i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you again in my next episode thank you so much for watching i appreciate all the support and yeah i'll see you guys soon bye